Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm gonna test the disinfecting power of Fabuloso Antibacterial Multi-Surface Cleaner. Okay, this is a different result. So this video is a viewer request. Naomi Genesis 85 asked me if I could test out Fabuloso. So I've been looking forward to testing Fabuloso for quite a while. I purchased this quite a bit ago and I had a little bit of a hesitation in testing it because of the directions. If you read in the back of the bottle the directions, it says to dilute half a cup of Fabuloso in a gallon of sterile deionized water then apply to services, let's say for five minutes. So what I was questioning is the use of sterile deionized water. I said to myself, during my testing in my home, I'm trying to replicate what most people have in their homes. And I think most people do not have sterile deionized water in their homes. That might be how they did their laboratory testing and how they got their laboratory results, which says, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, but there's also an asterisk that says Staph aureus and Klebsiella pneumonia. Now, does that mean that Fabuloso only kills those two bacteria? Or are there different types of bacteria that it will kill? I don't know. But for this test, full disclosure, I'm gonna use my well water that goes through our home filtration system to dilute the Fabuloso in my cleaning. In order to test Fabuloso's disinfecting power, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Petri dish and gather some sterile swabs. I'm going to label this Petri dish A, B, and C. I'm going to take a sterile swab and I'm going to swab areas of my home that I would like to test Fabuloso on. Then I will place that sample on B for before. Then I'll clean with the Fabuloso, swab again, and put that sample in A for after. Seize the control, I don't put anything there. So let's see how well Fabuloso disinfects my home. I forgot to mention when I was recording before I started to clean with Fabuloso how I'm gonna dilute this product. So it says to dilute half a cup into a gallon of water. I'm gonna dilute it like that and then I'm gonna put it in a spray bottle to make it easier to apply to the surfaces.
Now for some results. The bathroom sink. Okay, let's look at that B for before section. We have a lot of bacteria there. And then after cleaning with Fabuloso, there's a decrease. Yes, we see a decrease in bacteria. I do not feel it is a significant amount of bacteria that's decreased, but there is a decrease. Is it 99.9%? .9 no way, but there is a decrease. So in my opinion, I would say that Fabuloso does a, mm, an okay job at disinfecting my bathroom sink. The toilet base. Again, in the before section, we can definitely see large smearings of bacteria. You can't even distinguish individual colonies. There's so much bacteria there. In the after section, again, we see a decrease, a slight decrease. Not much at all. Not impressed with its disinfecting power on my toilet base. I'd say it does not so good for my toilet base. And it most certainly does not remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Hey, if you're enjoying looking at Petri dish results, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Move on to the kitchen. Let's look at the kitchen counter. Okay, this is a different result. So the before section, we can see a bunch of different types of bacteria on that section, a good amount of bacteria there. In the after section, there's nothing. There's nothing there at all. Did it remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria on my kitchen counter? Yes, absolutely. Fabuloso did a great job at disinfecting my kitchen counter. The kitchen sink, the base portion of the kitchen sink, this is a great result. Again, we can see in the before section plenty of bacteria sitting around there, right? And in the after section we have, I think it's one, two, three very small bacterial colonies in the after section. So does Fabuloso remove 99.9% .9 of bacteria in my kitchen sink, the base portion? Yes, it does. It did an excellent job at disinfecting my kitchen sink. Now the kitchen sink, the drain portion. So if you watch my videos, you probably know I don't always test the kitchen drain because very few cleaners are able to actually remove all the bacteria in my kitchen drain. So I decided to give Fabuloso a try here just to see how well it does. And it performed as expected, right? The before section, we can see a ton of bacteria. In the after, it was able to decrease it a little bit. Not a huge amount, but a small amount. So Fabuloso does an okay job at disinfecting my kitchen drain. So looking at the results from my home, I think it's safe to say that Fabuloso does a really nice job at disinfecting in my kitchen, but not that great of a job in my bathroom. So as we, we know that there are different strains of bacteria in different places in the home, right? So I think it just does a better job of removing those kitchen bacteria than it does the bathroom. I did purchase the lavender scent and I will admit I'm not a huge fan of this scent. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I don't care for scented products. Uh, I didn't particularly like this lavender scent. Um, it was a little bit too strong for me. Perhaps another scent would work better for me, but, but I just didn't really care for the smell. So if there's a cleaner that you would like me to test, put in the comment section and I will get to it as soon as I can. I do have a community post that has a list of all of the viewer requests. You can see it, there's probably about 80 there right now. I'm doing the best I can to get through them. Some are duplicated, so if I have a, a product where there are a lot of people asking for it, I'll kind of push it to the front of the line. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and thumbs up for me. It lets me know that people are actually enjoying this content. Take care, have yourselves, a great day.